Hi, it's Andrew. Okay, we're making a series of videos about easy recipes. If you don't have a lot of experience in the kitchen, or you just don't feel like being complicated, uh, that's the kind of recipes I'm, I'm trying to show you. We're going to start out with a simple stir fry. What I'm doing right now is cutting up some bell peppers. Basically we're going to saute a whole bunch of vegetables. Here I have some zucchini. A good way to keep vegetables fresh is to put them in the freezer. These I got a couple months ago at the local farmer's market and they still look great. Chopping doesn't really matter when you're making a stir fry. Large chunks are great. Okay. For stir frying, a wok is best. The bigger, the better. Because in your stirring, you don't want your vegetables and whatnot to go flying over across the room. Okay. In this stir fry I'm going to use deer meat because it's what I have and it's delicious. As with any wild game though you need to bleed it out completely to get any, any gamey flavor out. So that's what I'm doing here. Now with the stir fry, my favorite thing to have with it is rice. So I've also got the rice cooker out, and we're going to put that to good use. I found this recipe for a stir fry online. I've made stir fries before, of course, they're not, not difficult. One of my favorite easy recipes. But I found a recipe for stir fry sauce as well. You can buy that in the store, but it's generally not cheap. So and it's also kind of fun just to make your own so you can put whatever you like in it. Basically, we're going to put soy sauce and a few other things in it. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. Here, bell pepper. Delicious. Good for you. Fairly cheap. So the first thing we do Slice it straight down the middle. Now carve out the top. And you'll pull out the thing with most of the seeds on it. And then with your fingers you can just pop out the ribs. You want to get out all this white stuff, this pulp, what I call it. This doesn't taste great. It's not an important part of the pepper. Now with hot peppers, generally you want to get all the seeds out because that's where most of the heat is. With bell peppers that's not a concern because they're not hot. Okay. 